Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? That shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! That all you got? That all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Careful, Shepard. Don't break a hip now. Where's where my comeback is. Yeah, Jacob. Boom! Killed it! Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha <laughs> ha It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. Why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. 
Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, friend. <laughs> we are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything. Even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. 
Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Dane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Dane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... I was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time. It will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt until we meet again, Commander. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. 
I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the Vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. 
But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. <laughs>